Maginaria Ciceraria, member of the pumpkin family, a climbing vine dicot, better known as Kilu, sometimes Hue, from the Proto-Polynesian word Fue, which means vine, bottle gourd, or Ipu. The Ipu is a single species of a large, sprawling vine plant that bears small white flowers and gourds of varying sizes and edibility, depending on cultivars. The vine traces an interesting path around the Pacific, being found not in the wild, but solely in human cultivation in both Hawaii and South America. Originating in Eastern Africa and later giving rise to a subspecies with origins somewhere in Asia, it reached Hawaii and was established as an important aspect of culture and agriculture long before Europeans came through documenting the Pacific nations. But how it got to Hawaii in the first place is a very fascinating and pretty long story. Central and South America were inhabited long before Hawaii was first colonized, and those Mesoamericans were cultivating ipu for hundreds, if not thousands of years, even before the rise of complex civilization in Mexico, the Andes, and the Amazon. There are no wild gourds found in the Americas, which implies this plant was carried over from the Old World to the New World with the first human migrations. Damn. It only reached Hawaii when Polynesian settlers, finding the islands, continued eastward and landed on Peruvian shores. The Hawaiians and indigenous Peruvian people exchanged everything from bottle gourds to coconut to yams to DNA, if you know what I mean. This versatile plant was brought back and secured a place in Hawaii's culture no problem. With no metal available in the islands and the art of pottery non-existent, wood was the way to go when life called for containers. When it came to ipu, nature already took care of half the work. The fruit of the vine comes in a wide variety of sizes that can be used to hold everything from salt to poi to kapa cloth to the li'i's feather cloak. These gourd containers were called umeke pohue. There were three known types of ipu in Hawaii. Ipu manalo, with a sweet fruit that could be eaten. Ipu ava ava, with a bitter and poisonous fruit that was sometimes used medicinally, but mostly for containers or instruments. And ipu nui, giant variety whose fruit could get up to a meter in length and width. That's over three feet. This large Ipu Nui variety was the result of selective cultivation by Hawaiians. The large breed has all but vanished as of today. David Orr, Botanical Collection Specialist at Waimea Valley Botanical Garden, shares a sad anecdote. But what is endangered are the pure Hawaiian strains of Ipu. And it was really sad because about two years ago, I was over at the Amy Greenwald Ethnobotanical Conference on the Big Island, and there was this guy from Kauai there who had brought seeds down from an ipu that had been found in a burial cave. And this ipu was like two and a half feet. It was like one of the biggest ipus everyone had seen. And the seeds do remain viable for a long, long time. And we got nine or ten seeds from that ipu. And we were so excited because this came from a cave that had been buried for a century at least. And um, they all germinated and we planted them in three different locations and this was the year about two years ago when we had about 30 solid days of rain and ipu cannot be too wet they really need to mm -hmm. need to plant them at the end of the wet season so they can establish when it's still wet but then they want to scramble on really dry rocks to grow properly and uh, we lost all of those seedlings and i've been on my knees begging to see if there's any more seeds around and none have come, come up yet it was the ipu nui and ipu ava ava that were primarily used for containers, umeke pohue, and for instruments. Umeke pohue were treasured in their households. They were always repaired, only thrown out if they were absolutely irreparable. The umeke pohue of the ali'i often had kappa-like patterns on them, called pavehe. The technique of applying these patterns has been lost, but contemporary artisans, like Elroy Juan, still keep the tradition alive with hand-painted umeke pohue. As Elroy Juan tells us, the paveje patterns were unique to families in ancient Hawaii. The patterns were special, just like the ipu they were painted on. Ipu instruments were numerous and all unique to Hawaii amongst Polynesian civilizations. The most well known is the ipu heke and ipu heke ole. These are the drums used commonly in hula. The next well known instrument is the uli uli. A small ipu is filled with tiny pebbles and used as a rattle. Alternatively, the fruit of a coconut, niu, could also be used. A second, more complex type of rattle exists, called ulili. This one was composed of three ipu with a central shaft and a cord that, when pulled, spun the shaft and the ipu on either end, rattling the pebbles inside. Ipu were also used for a fourth instrument, puniu. 
These small round drums, stretched with shark or surgeon fish skin, were tied around the legs just above the knees to be played. These four instruments were all used for hula, but ipu also featured an instrument that was played purely for fun. The ipu hokiokio, a tiny nose flute, has a sound so gentle that only a person sitting very close could hear it. It was said to be the instrument of lovers. It's interesting that the majority of ipu instruments were used for ceremonial performances, providing the music for hula. Its role in ceremony and music makes sense. Ipu was seen as one of the physical forms, kino lao, of lono, god of rains, music, fertility, and agriculture. The Makahiki festival, a time of peace to offer harvest to the Ili'i and gods, is held in his honor. When Captain Cook first arrived in Hawaii, the Makahiki festival was underway, and its expedition artist, John Weber, drew these very famous pictures. The man depicted, more than likely a priest, wears an ipu mask decorated with kapa cloth strips and a crest of some type of fern. These are not warriors, given the lack of weapons and the fact that ipu is too weak to make a reliable battle helmet, but exactly what his role was and what the ipu mask represents when worn on the head of a kahuna pule olono is unknown. And that is the ipu of Hawaii.